Hello, welcome back to another episode of Internal Rambles. This is your girl, Rochelle. If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you for tuning back in. Internal Rambles, you can reach me pretty much everywhere that you get your podcast content. I'm on YouTube, and also you can get me at the official website, which is internalramblespodcast.com. You can get all of my episodes there and also interact with me, hit me up on the contact page, send me some questions you want me to answer, some topics, and you can also leave me a voicemail that could potentially be played on a future episode. Today, I am going to start us off the way that I do every Thursday episode, my Thursdays episode releases every morning at 8 a.m. And I start off either with Rochelle's Rave, something that is exciting, that has happened to me, something I'm looking forward to, something positive in my life, or Rochelle's Rant, something that has frustrated me and getting on my nerves, something that has upset my spirit. And today I have a bit of a rave, rant, combination. Combination. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had to. Uh, So let's get into my uh, rave rant for today. Okay, so I have spoke about this before that I want to be where I'm celebrated and not tolerated. And that doesn't mean that I want to be where people are just all over me, sweating me, patting me on the back think I'm the best thing since uh, sliced bread, um, for lack of a better way to put these things, uh, not to be so cliche, but I'm sure you get the point. But it just means that I want to be around people that appreciate my presence, that appreciate me as a person, that love me for who I am, and that um, don't just tolerate me because oh that's just so and so's homegirl or I gotta deal with her because she work here or that's just my this family member or that family member so I guess you know I gotta deal with her but I don't really care for her that much you know what I'm saying so um and I definitely cut a lot of people off in my life and just I'm a very, like I, I have said, I'm a very vibey person and I don't like leaving my house, okay? <laughs> so I don't like being where the energy is off, where the vibe is off, where you can tell people just don't F with you like that. I could stay home or I, you know, um, depending on the situation, I can hang out with so-and-so later, let y'all do y'all thing. Or, you know, if it's a work situation, let's just deal with each other when we absolutely have to. We'll get the job done, but let's just have limited interactions, you know, Um, especially when it's a situation where you're at at an event or whatever and you can tell the energy is off and then you end up not having a good time because it's just that negativity is just everywhere. I can stay home. And you're like, man, this was such a waste of time or it's just an an upsetting situation because I'm like, oh, this is just horrible. I think also it makes it challenging, too, when it's like, I don't even know what I did to this person to make them treat me in such a way. Because one of the things that I've done and um, I hope if I can remember that this will be a topic in my birthday uh, episode just kind of talking about lessons learned and whatever is just addressing issues and the importance of that and um and just treating people positively and I haven't always done that and when I have acted piss poorly apologizing for that because I want people to treat me in a positive way and so if I've treated someone negatively I can be an adult and say you know what a month ago when we was whatever whatever this happened and I apologize and moving forward I'm gonna do better and you know this is you know what can I do you know what would you want from me moving forward? you know blah 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 yada, yada, okay so I know what it's like to not act so positively but then you know be able to say hey 
having someone say, yo, you was on one. Like, yo, did it? okay, moving forward, you're right. And how can we, you know, move forward and not have these interactions moving, you know, in the future? So I know that I don't always act, you know, like Princess Patty and everything sugar and spice but I can apologize and I know not everyone is going to be at where I am but I really do try to treat people positively but I think it's crazy when it's like um I'm not sure what this is because I don't think I've done anything to you and if I did do something to you you didn't let me know so this is even crazier and I'm not going to worry about it because I can't worry about something that I don't even know that I may have done I don't think I did anything so your your behavior is just out of this world um because i don't understand it and i'm not gonna try to understand it so my rant is just i don't like funny acting people i try and i can be funny acting but usually it's because someone's done something to me and so it's just like i'm not gonna be you know i'm not gonna treat you like you're a good person if you treated me horribly but that's usually the like the precipitating thing is like you've done some crazy stuff and so it's like yeah I'm not gonna be like kind to you (laughs) I'm not gonna treat you like you're my BFF if you're not but um I don't like when it's like I don't know what the problem is and you're being funny so now it's like there's this energy that's crazy to me So I don't want to be nowhere where it's just that energy is off. Now I'm like, I got to go because I'm not having a great time. This is the, you know, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. I know this is really vague, but it's just like I when I was a counselor during direct care, I always would say we teach people how to treat us. And so if I tolerate being treated piss poorly, that says to you that it's okay to treat me negatively that I don't value myself to that I don't set these boundaries that no I there's a standard in how you interact with me there's a standard to how you treat me and when you if you treat me if you mistreat me I'm not gonna sit here and be you know sit you know grinning in your face I was gonna say something else (laughs) and I kept catching myself I'm not gonna sit here and be grinning like everything is all a you know a okay and you know we're good no we're not good because you are acting crazily right now um so the rave is just that I do set these boundaries with people and I do make sure to protect myself and I do know that I do I can have rigid boundaries but it's just that just making sure that I love myself enough to say I don't have to be around no one that treats me piss poorly I don't have to have people in my space I remember I had a friend who was such a people pleaser she had people doing her dirty left right and I was like why are you letting these people just treat you I mean it was like crazy and she's like I just you know I just I like to have friends and so but these people aren't being your friends they're not treating you friendly they're not being a friend to you and you still let them you still bend over backwards to people that are just acting up left and right I never would want to be in a place where I just feel like I have to take any old kind of behavior just to have someone be my friend or be friendly to me or be my man or even family because family sometimes they they be the worst ones so that's the rave is just setting those boundaries with people um because I'm worth it at the end of the day and I do think that um I do try to treat people kindly I do try to you know I do have long-term friendships and even though we may not talk every day we may not even see each other every day they are people that I do truly care about and that I do think that they care about me too and that we've maintained long-term friendships due to the fact that I think that we've you know we've been able to build and just show that you know we care about each other we support each other and it's just you know you know what I'm saying like I'm not trying to, they're not doing anything behind my back. We support each other. Like we're there for each other. They know they can hit me up whenever. 
and vice versa. So, yeah, that's a long I don't, train of thought. But anyways, so that's that. And it's like I'm getting too old just for like silliness and just no, I don't want nobody treating me any old kind of way. So that's my rave and that's my rant. I'm going to wrap that up because <laughs> I probably because I've just, you know, I've been through things and I've seen things. And so, no, don't let no one treat you any old kind of way. Family, friend, coworker, your man, your girl, your situationship, your boo at a certain point, you know. OK, OK. <laughs> So let's get into this episode. So on Thursdays, what I've been doing is just doing some entertainment stuff, music, etc. Talking about some life stuff. And then we get on up out of here. So let's get into this episode for this Thursday. I will say though, really quickly, if you ever wanted to know... <laughs> what internal rambles truly is you just listen to (laughs) my train of thought the rambling racing thoughts of your girl Rochelle that was it that rant was exactly uh, what internal rambles was supposed to be what it is what it looks like what it sounds like in my brain that rant that rave that rant that was exactly internal rambles and I was like, girl, you talking fast. I can, being a fast talker is hereditary. I was like, when I, I listen, I just listened back to it really quickly. Sorry, I'm going to try to not talk so fast. When I'm um, tired and or anxious, I talk really fast. So I may be experiencing both of that right now. I actually, I'm, I'm definitely experiencing tiredness and my anxiety may be high too, so I'm going to slow it down for the people so you can hear what I'm saying as well. Alrighty, let's get into this episode. Alright, sad to report just a few days ago, Bob Barker passed away. I mean, talk about your childhood. Who did not watch The Price is Right? I loved The Price is Right growing up. He hosted it from 1972 until 2007, and he passed away at the age of 99. Can you believe that? That man was 99 years old, and he just seemed like this just the sweetest man ever. And honestly, I really haven't watched Prices Right. I mean, a little bit. Drew Carey hosts it now. I've watched it off and on, but it's just not the same. Bob Barker is and will forever be the Price is Right. So, R.I.P. to Bob Barker. Um, I don't think he ever had any kids. I don't see anything that says he had kids. So, But R.I.P. to the legend, Bob Barker. Okay, so I don't know why... I'm talking about this, but it's funny to me. That's actually probably why <laughs> I find so. Okay, I I like Glorilla, and actually, me and Geo in our last episode of the Male Perspective with Geo. Did you listen to it? If you didn't, make sure you do. We were just talking about some of the new rap songs and how I'm not fond of. Um, my booty hole brown um I'm also not fond of um I see her face I can't think her name what's her name um Sukiana I just think you know I get being you know sexy I get sexual lyrics but then I think there is um disgusting lyrics and I think there's too overtly sexual lyrics and I then also I just think there's just rap that's not good um and I but to each their own at the end of the day whatever you listen to is whatever you listen to but I like Glorilla I actually I liked um Glorilla's song um F mm, free and she had another song that I like I actually don't mind Glorilla's songs um and I think she's funny too so I don't necessarily agree with everything that she says but I find her funny um and I did 
talk about something that she said. I can't remember what she said. It was something that I that I talked about on here earlier. I'll be having a lot of episodes. I can't remember everything at all. It all runs in together. <laughs> um, but recently, she, well, I don't even know. She's on Instagram. Who knows? TikTok. You don't stop. I don't know. And she was mentioning about being toxic in your 20s and her thoughts on that. So I wanted to discuss a little clip or play a clip of that and then discuss it. Be toxic for the rest of your 20s. You only get one life. Live your toxic 20s. You never get to be 20 years old, 21, 22, 23, 24, none of that ever again in your life. Be toxic because don't get in your 30s thinking you could just go slashing ties and doing all this crazy shit. You're too old for that now. You're too mature. Be toxic for the rest of your 20s. And if you're delusional, turn this shit up a notch. Okay, so definitely don't agree with being toxic toxic relationships slashing the tires burning the clothes um anything abusive in any way um I don't know why that's like a cute thing right now and I um, that's air quotes um you know busting the windows out the car you know Jasmine Sullivan that was a cute song you know I bust the windows out your car but don't really actually do that don't be catching crimes over your relationship okay okay but I do think and I don't and someone was saying maybe she means have fun no I really think she means toxic but I do think you know have fun in your 20s if you so choose be safe but I do think you know the nice thing about being young is you know having healthy dating habits healthy safe dating habits being able to um, learn the type of I definitely can say I learned the type of man I do not want (laughs) okay having dealt with the men that I dealt with in my 20s I know the type of man that I don't want. I can list them right now. I'll save you, you know. I'll save you having to hear the triflingness I dealt with. I didn't even really have bad relationships. I just was young, you know, men that didn't really want relationships. And I didn't really even want a relationship, even if I got into them. But just being young and having fun and doing young and fun things and that's that so and I think you learn yourself just kind of uh making being a little too flexible and or not being flexible enough Mm -hmm. sometimes but yeah have fun date even dating a guy you may not have thought you would have liked sometimes you'd be like oh man that was kind of cool but toxic is not the way doing things that have you at the police station at the booking station that's not the way doing you know toxic behaviors and uh enmeshment you know no that's not that's never cute to me seeing this this stuff on instagram that these women be doing these men be doing that's not cute so no toxic in your 20s in your 30s your 40s your 50s that's not cute but having fun dating in your 20s that's really what it's all about till you're ready to settle down I don't think there's a problem with it as long as you're being safe as long as you're being responsible and you're having healthy dating habits I think that's okay and I think it's you know I know that they say famous people are not supposed to be role models for children but kids definitely are listening to the music watching these stars etc and so I do think that there is a certain level of responsibility even if it's minimal but at the end of the day these stars are not responsible for raising anybody's kids but it's just some of the stuff that these folks be doing sexy red Sukiana. oh lord have mercy but I think Glorilla is kind of fun. I do kind of like her. So um, she's funny, if nothing else. <laughs> so, yeah, that was my quick little thought on that. Also, in music news, I did mention 
recently that Drake's next album for all the dogs is coming out. He released the cover. It's actually a picture that his son Adonis drew. And so speculation was that his album was going to be released last Friday, which was the 25th, I think. It did not release last Friday. So come on, Drake, where the album? Where the, where the music? When is it going to be released? No one seems to know, but I'm ready for it. I'm ready for some new Drake music. So hopefully, maybe this Friday, I don't know. No official release date has been stated as of right now of when I'm recording this. So don't know, but hopefully soon. Also in music news, Diddy announced that his next album will be released on September 15th. Finally have a release date for it. The Love Album Off The Grid is the title. So excited for that. It's going to be an R&B album. He has been talking about his next album is going to be an R&B album. So I mentioned that I was excited about that and that I'm really hoping that he has this song that I heard snippets of with him and Eric Bellinger. I'm hoping that song is on this album. So excited. You know, Diddy, I'm a huge fan of his. We know he's a great producer. So hopefully this will be some great, great music from Mr. Diddy. Looks like he was in the studio with Mary J. Budge, Bieber, Justin Bieber, I think I saw 21 Savage and Jazzy, so they may possibly be on the album as well. So we will see. Okay, I don't think I have much life stuff going on. I will say that I am I have been watching these clips of the Jodeci tour. <laughs> <laughs> I should have got tickets. They are having, I think there is a difference. I don't even know what the difference is because they are showing up and showing out. When I saw them last year, they were opening for New Edition. I think it was a different vibe. And then when I saw them this year, it was good. But I think jojo was still under the weather but it's something about this block party i don't know it's all for them and i don't know it's just a different energy it seems i think it's like because it's like an actual full tour versus like their spot i don't know it just seems like a, di a different energy or maybe it's just because i'm not there I enjoyed myself both times that I went, but I think now that they have been actively touring again, I think it's like, I want to be at every tour that they do. <laughs> like there are literally people that, cause we met them and, you know, met them. We were sitting there near them, um, at the new edition tour and they told us that for years they have been traveling around the country going to new edition like since the 80s since the early 90s whatever and they don't miss a tour and they will go around the country and they just go to new edition shows all around the country puerto rico to hawaii like they have probably spent thousands of dollars like i ain't trying to do all that but you know, a couple times a year, if there's some shows, I think I need to just kind of get on that bandwagon until Jodeci stopped touring. <laughs> but in the comments, everybody was like, oh my God, I had the time of my life and I love you guys and the show is so good. And I'm like, God darn it. You should have got your travel loan and got you some tickets. They have been like this one. This tour seems very grueling, though. But if they do another one, I'm going to get my tickets. I'm going to have to go see them again. <laughs> um, what else is going on? Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, it's so funny. This is going to be like, it, this is not going to make any sense. But 
I was telling my like my mother because she always tells me it was always a running joke when my father was alive that my father used to used to say yeah act just like your mama <laughs> to me and then my mother would say yeah act just like your daddy <laughs> <laughs> like you know whenever it's like so like and I was like well which one do I do I act like my mama or do I act like my daddy like it, like who, you know but I really am like a like a combination as I get older I definitely act more like my father but I'm really close I was close to both, both my parents but definitely very close to my mom and but as I'm getting older definitely like my father's traits are just like hello definitely I'm definitely becoming my father and so me and my mother was at this event and she was like you were just looking just like your father (laughs) just like but then everyone says I look very much like my it's like I don't have my own look like I just don't look like me I look very much like my paternal grandmother but then it's like, but then you you were just like, but when you did this, you were just like my mother. Like, it's just like, it's so weird how I look like most, I look very much like my grandmother's and my father, a bit like my mom too. But I have like just, a, I know I definitely have, this is very random. It's just weird. I have a lot of mannerisms of my grandmother's and my father. Um, and my, but I, my personality is of my mom a lot. Um, but it's just, it, it's like, when do I get to be me though? It's like, yeah, just like your dad. Yeah. You know, I just, it's always, this is a random thing. Um, I'm like, I never, and it's only me though. None of the other siblings get this. It's always, you act just like, you act just, I'm like, no one says this about, well my sister acts like my father um a bit but for the most part it's it's always me that I act like this person I act I look like I don't I don't have my own thing and I'm like do I ever get to be me because it's none like I'm still trying to figure out who my younger brother like I think he, he, as he's getting older, he's coming into like who he looks like. Cause I'm, I'm, I haven't told my mom we need a DNA test. I don't need no darn DNA test. <laughs> this is a random like thing. Um, but I always thought that was just so interesting that how like, you know, I look like this person, I look like that person, I act like this person. I like, do I, do I have my own personality? Like, I hope I do. Cause to, the family I act like everybody except for my own self and I know I do have my own personality but it's just like I am just a very combination of people I guess I don't know it's just you act just like your daddy like okay but my dad says I act just like you so you know um but that always like was the agitation of no you don't act like me (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> just rock with me in that rant and it, it just happened that's why I'm like y'all are so weird like I think I'm pretty sure at this I'm about to be 40 I let me have my own I never just have my own no you act just like you look just like ah, okay <laughs> and this is why I have middle child syndrome too because I just I'm never my own I never I act like everybody else I gotta you know it's just really super very I don't have my own anything I don't have my own personality I don't look like myself you know <clears throat> I'm not thought of as like the you know the eldest and then the baby you know but then but I have the most response I have the responsibility for everything you know so and then like I my birthday was in between certain people so I used to have combined birthdays until I was like I don't want I want to have my own birthday party why am I having birthday parties with adults and then just re- like recently a certain family member didn't know that I was having an out of town soiree for my birthday 
Like, oh, we should have a birthday party together. I'm not even going to be in town. No, we shouldn't. And my mother was like, oh, well, Rochelle's not even going to be in town. So you can't have a birthday party with her. <laughs> but it's like always this. I can't even have my even in my own adult. Yeah, this is my hangups. I really don't have hangups. But even in my own about to be 40. No, I don't want to have a combined birthday party. I want to have my own shindig. But it was it was like, OK, so let's put it wasn't even ass. It was like, oh, me and Rochelle, we let's uh, we're going to have a party. I'll, I'll I'll plan it. We'll have a, a party together. And I was like, she ain't even going to be in town. <laughs> and I didn't even tell her because, you know, I knew that she probably wouldn't even be able to partake in the activities, etc. And I didn't want to. Yeah, I knew that she wouldn't be able to come at the long story short, not to get into all that. So yeah but it wasn't even like hey does she want to have a party it was hey I'm going to plan a party for us I was like but you didn't even ask what I was doing it, but that is the insinuation that but anyways let me not even go into that but <laughs> so yeah it's just the middle child syndrome child I'm grown I, anyways but uh, middle child syndrome and just like that thing that people just feel like I'm just gonna do whatever uh uh them days been gone so that's that but yeah man it's just uh, I got a lot to do well well yeah actually I do have a lot to do but we'll see what happens trying not to like get I thought about like what I got to do and I was like girl you you got time but you don't have time you just have to stay on track with, with you what you got going on and it'll be fine and that's that um I do hope to get I've only been to one concert this year and I'm kind of like hmm, well that's okay but if I could get one more in that'd be nice that'd be nice and just trying to um loosely i know what i'm trying to do next year loosely plan that in my head prepare for that in my head which probably is not the greatest that i i am so like goal oriented i'm like you got to focus on right now Um, because it can get a little overwhelming when you're trying to plan things and you already have a lot going on currently but that's why I'm like just loosely just trying to think about the future a little bit but not be too focused on that so yeah that's that but my mom's like you know make sure that you enjoy yourself that's all that matters she said something else that I was like mom you know but then I had to remember that she's just being a mom I was like girl <laughs> you talking to the wrong one but no she was just make sure you enjoy yourself it's a milestone birthday and I was like okay mom I shout so that was nice and then I was like what'd you get me no <laughs> no I actually I did kind of say that but um yeah so that's that's nice and I always get myself like a birthday gift. I was talking to someone. Oh, yeah, I know who I was talking to. I always get myself something nice, but I really don't need anything. I have no idea what I'm getting myself for my birthday. It really actually won't be. I don't need anything. Uh, and it probably won't be anything like, um, am I saying like a lot? If I am, I'm sorry. I really got a lot going on and so usually when I'm recording I'm pretty tired this will get better probably in October I'm hoping and <laughs> when I'm not so busy um but I don't really have anything that I this is a blessing but for, for the most part the things that I really wanted I've already gotten and I can't think of anything that I'm like I really really want to get at the moment 
there's something that I would really like to get, but it would be for if I had bought a house this year, I would have purchased it and I didn't buy a house and I'm not buying this, that for this current, where I currently live. It makes no sense. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It won't be anything extravagant. But at the end of the day, just being able to celebrate and enjoy life, celebrate life, that'll be the ultimate gift. So that will be fine. Alrighty, and then lastly, I've been thinking about this periodically, but maybe after my birthday around October, November, I really want to do a juice cleanse. I did one about four years ago and I became vegetarian for 10 months um but I've been eating kind of off and on so I'll do okay and then bad and then okay and then bad and then um but I think it just really would help kind of my digestion just come kind of my overall health just to kind of reset my digestion um and just reset my eating habits so hopefully I can get into a some better eating eating habits I think I did it when I did a cleanse I think it was a five day um it was either a three day or a five day if I did one I would want to do a five day because I I don't want to do a seven day because I don't think I would last <laughs> um three day I feel like it's not enough and I I think five day is just the right amount to be for it to be helpful and beneficial the company that I used is defunct. The uh, pandemic caused them to go out of business. So I don't really know. I know when I've looked before, I really couldn't find one that I wanted to purchase because either I wasn't sure if their juices were any good or I, it was just too pricey. So I need to look around, but I'm really, really, I would like to definitely do one by the end of the year. So... And I'm not going to make my own, so that's not an option. So, um, but yeah, I'm thinking about that. So I'm hoping I can be, move forward with that. And then hopefully get my eating habits better and back on track. And stop ordering from DoorDash, Grubhub, and all these darn places. <laughs> Alrighty, so as you may or may not know, I'm currently recapping Ready to Love Dallas, my bonus episodes, different things I do over here. We do have the male perspective with Gio, which I do with my good friend Gio, but I also do reality show recaps. Right now I'm doing Ready to Love Dallas. I do believe that's probably going to end in September because that show is winding down. Not sure what my next show is going to be most likely it'll be married at first sight because that should be coming back soon but then I was watching the preview of the next season of love and marriage Huntsville I'm behind what the heck is going on on that show first of all who are these new people I couldn't even tell you who they are but also like is Melody dating someone it looked like she was almost getting engaged I don't even know what the heck is going on with Tisha and Marceau? Um, I don't know. It just looked like, first of all, what I do know about these previews is they make it seem like finally the tea is going to be spilled and the tea don't get spilled. I do know that. But also, it looked like it might going to be good this season. I almost want to try to review it let me see I know it said it was going to start in or recap it well recap and review it it looks like it's going to start September 16th I know that I'm September is a bit busy for me if I don't start reviewing in September I may be able to double up and start in October so I'm kind of leaning towards I don't think I ever have I ever recapped it, it's all a blur. <laughs> no, I recapped Love and Marriage DC. I don't think I've ever done Huntsville. So, I don't know. We may see. We may see what happens. I, I gotta think about it. 
but that could be a potential new show we'll see we'll see if you haven't listened to my previous recaps of ready to love dallas be sure to check on that and listen to those also the male perspective with go and any of my other episodes if you're new here please do listen to me subscribe to me wherever you get your content tell your loved ones about me get in on this great content over here September and October is going to be a lot of great stuff we got my birthday episode which definitely I have not fully planned out I may not even fully plan it out I know I definitely want to just talk about lessons I've learned in my 40 years of life that'll be a great time I will definitely I'm planning on I guess subject to change We'll do, I plan on doing another top five episode. I'll, I may announce what that will be. It may be a surprise. I don't know. Top five, either art. I know what it's going to be, but I have done previously my top five albums for my favorite artists, top five songs, etc. So another bonus episode of my top five. October though, another special episode. That'll be the second anniversary, two years podcasting your girl Rochelle that's gonna be really really special so please continue to send in some questions for me to answer hit me up on my official website internalramblespodcast.com some topics you want me to discuss send me a voicemail would love to have that audience interaction portion for the anniversary episode please do that want that to happen for the anniversary episode so september and october is going to be very very nice very very fun great great content and then in the anniversary episode i'll probably talk about some changes they won't be major you probably won't even notice them honestly as a listener but just some updates to the podcast and then sometime soon I don't have a date yet or a definitive time frame to give you but it will be soon (laughs) there'll be another episode of the male perspective with G.O. and we'll be talking about traveling our experiences some tips and some tricks etc on how to get the most out of your traveling experience so be on the lookout for that Okay, okay, listen, I'm not going to leave you hanging. We got some great stuff coming up for you over here at Internal Ramble, so you don't want to miss out. That's why you got to subscribe so that you get my episodes immediately when they release. And if you are subscribed to me over on YouTube, please like and comment over there. Interact with me over on YouTube. Alrighty? Okay. Now, I told you I had a song Every Thursdays we do Song of the Podcast, and I I gave you three last week, but I said I had one more. (laughs) So let me give you the Song of the Podcast for today's episode. The song is called Levels, and it's by Big X The Plug, another artist I don't know anything about. Someone was playing this song on Instagram, and I loved it, and I added it to the playlist, so... Big X the plug and the song is called Levels. So I didn't want to give you, I was like, I can't just give you like 87 songs in one podcast. So I gave you three last week and saved this fourth one for this week. So Big X the plug and that is called Levels. Thank you for tuning in and listening to this internal rambles ride that I took you on. (laughs) I truly appreciate you. I really do. I know that there are a million, a billion, maybe even a trillion podcasts. And so I definitely, definitely appreciate every time that you listen, that you download my podcast. And I hope that you continue to return and come back. And also, don't forget, like I said, tell your loved ones about me so that they can get in on this too. Please do continue to send in again. Time is winding down that anniversary episode. I will have 
dates. I'm going to try to get that out to you really soon. More specific dates of when the birthday episode is going to be and also when the anniversary episode will be so that you will know and have a deadline of when you can send in specifically for the anniversary episode your questions, topics, and voicemail. But moving forward, if you ever want me to answer anything, etc., you can send that anytime moving forward for upcoming podcasts. Take care of yourselves. Appreciate you so very much. Please do do what you need to do for you. Self-care is very important. And until next episode, this is your girl, Rochelle.